כי וואלה שאני... כי וואלה שאני רואה את זה בטלוויזיה, זה לא מפריע לי, כי אני כאילו אומרת, בסדר, לא נורא, הערבים האלה יש להם הרבה בעיות. I want to ask you a question. Look over here. Do you see a Holocaust coming? It's crazy. There's so much hunger, so much starvation in the world. So many people are suffering. And you want me to get excited about some idiot painting a swastika somewhere? Finkelstein lost his job at the university because of what he claims was pressure from the Israeli lobby. Then he was denied entry to Israel because he was, as the authorities described, a security hazard, which being Jewish himself is probably unprecedented. Finkelstein reminds me of the biblical prophets of doom, who were always being pelted with stones for saying things nobody wanted to hear. One of the major kind of uh, um, claims I, I, I hear from people like the ADL or you know, other Jewish people is that like, how come always picking, people picking up on Israel. How come there are so much, you know, injustice, mm -hmm. you know, in other parts of the world and nobody speaks about, you know? Mm -hmm. what, what is the reason I for that? I think people, listen, I open the radio, I hear non-stop about Sudan. I hear non-stop about Tibet. I hear non-stop about Darfur. I hear a lot. The only place I hear excuses made for is Israel. That's the place where I hear excuses. And we do have to remember, it is the oldest occupation in the world. I mean, 40 years really is enough. It's older than you. It's older than you, the occupation. Doesn't that kind of stun you? The irony is that the Nazi Holocaust has now become the main ideological weapon for launching wars of aggression. Every time you want to launch a war of aggression, drag in the Nazi Holocaust. It's the suffering then used as another pretext or excuse to humiliate, degrade, and torture the Palestinians. That's the problem. The suffering comes as a package. It then comes, here is the suffering, now we blow up your house. Here is the suffering, now we take your land. Here is the suffering, now we drop artillery shell or shoot artillery shells at your villages. It's a package deal with Israel and its American supporters. It's not just suffering, it's suffering which is then wrapped in a club. And the club is then used to break the skulls of the Palestinians. That's the problem. It's not being used to educate people. It's not being used to enlighten people. It's not being used to make people more moral. It can be. But it's not. I mean... It's not. That's the whole point. Of course it can be, but it isn't. It's the best thing that will ever happen to Israel if they get rid of these American Jews who are warmongers from Martha's Vineyard. And they're warmongers from the Hamptons and they're warmongers from Beverly Hills, and they're warmongers from Miami. It's been a disaster for Israel. You know, it's the best thing if they can ever get rid of this American jury. It's a curse. For Finkelstein, Foxman is the main enemy. <laughs> you see, that's why you're not going to get like, people's attention, you know, for things like that. Some people laugh. You compare Foxman to Hitler, that's kind of... Uh... Uh, it's, too, it's an insult to Hitler. Hitler at least didn't do it for money. Did Finkelstein took his own trauma as the son of Holocaust survivors to the opposite extreme. When I asked him if he had any sympathy for the Israeli victims as well as for the Palestinians, he compared Israeli casualties to the German casualties in World War II. You know, funny, I have to tell you, you're funny. Like you come that. from a society in which everyone calls everyone a Nazi, right? They call Rabin a Nazi, Ben-Gurion called Jabotinsky a Nazi, Jabotinsky called Ben-Gurion a Nazi, uh, Begin called uh, Ben-Gurion a Nazi. They all said, each of them said, one is worse than Hitler. That's the whole language of your society. 
It's also the language I grew up with. You know, everything in my house, the food worse than Auschwitz, the clothes worse than that. That's the house you grow up in. And all of a sudden, you get so pious when I go like that. Your whole society is like that. Why was Rabin? You don't remember when I made Rabin with the SS before he was shot? And then you all of a sudden get so pious. I just think about like how people... Because of what? Because of Abe Foxman? We have to be pious with Abe Foxman? A hoodlum and a thug? I'm just trying to see, to think how other people will perceive it, you know, for myself, you know, you can go and do it all day long, you know. I did it with you, you're in Israel. You yeah, but understand. it's on film, you know, it's on film, you know, other people will see it afterwards. Then take it out! That's why you're an editor. No, that's obviously, you know, should stay in the film, <laughs> you know, that's... Fine. You think I care? You think I care? So you like the neighborhood? Very much. Look at the breeze.